Hello, you're up next. Right in the butt. There we go. Good, 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 good. There we go. Hey everybody, welcome back to DungeonGuru.net. This is Nether Void doing another strategy series today, uh, episode 18 on the E75 Tier 9 German heavy tank. Uh, this thing is a beast. It's right before the E100, and uh, when I first saw this thing on the battlefield, it scared the crap out of me. Um, I thought, wow, a bigger Tiger II, and I shot at it in the front glasses and didn't do jack to it, so I was pretty scared. Uh, but we're gonna talk, I'm going to talk to you today about how to defeat this thing if you're driving against it, or how to defeat other tanks with it if you're driving it. So first, let's go over the statistics for this thing. 1920 hit points. It's a lot of hit points. Really good amount of hit points there. Uh, and if you take, if you go up from the stock turret, it's only a hundred point, hundred hit points difference. So it's it even, even stock it has a good amount of hit points. Um, engine power at 1200 horsepower. Engine. This thing actually moves around pretty good. Still not as good as the IS4, but but pretty good um, for such a huge tank. Uh, speed limit 30. This will. It pushes it around pretty good. Traverse speed 21, not super bad, you know, not great, but not not horrible. Um, hull armor 160, 120, 120. Um, that's pretty good armor for this tank. Uh, it seems to be a little better than IS-4, even though the IS-4 also has a 160 here, and that's probably because it doesn't have that huge hole in the, in the driver hatch like the IS-4 does. Uh, they're bound. If you if someone shoots you head on, you're probably going to bounce off this front glasses. Uh, if you're angled like this, even the BL-10 will have a hard time penetrating your front glasses. Um, turret armor, 252, that's awesome. Same thing as IS-4. Turret up against somebody, they're going to have a hard time hitting you. Uh, 160s on the sides are also great, especially since the ammo rack is in the back here, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, <coughs> the 20, 20 traverse speed on the, on the turret is pretty good uh, if you put these both together with a 41 traverse speed it's not too bad it, it does make it a little difficult when you're trying to when people are trying to circle you they're probably gonna be able to do circle you pretty easily so you gotta be careful 460 view range that's a really good view range for um, for a tank uh, a turret and so and uh, that's those are all the stats now let's talk about general uh, style of play here this tank is is definitely gonna be pushing a line you're not gonna don't don't snipe with this tank. I see people try to do it. This is not a sniper tank. This is a huge hunk of metal that you need to put in the enemy's face. Uh, even if it's just you and another guy in a lane, and you're kind of defending or not really trying to advance, uh, don't don't be afraid to go up against people in this thing. The only thing you need to do, we might as well get into weak spots here, is um, you really need to hide this lower glasses glasses right here. This thing only has 120 millimeters of armor, and it, anybody can hit this. It's very easy to hit, and here's why you need to hide it so much uh, more than the IS-4. Watch this. Okay, so here's your front glasses. Here's the IS-4s. You notice any differences? His is about half as exposed as yours on an, just an everyday basis. So it's a lot easier to drive around as an IS-4 and not be too worried. This thing, if you're not behind some kind of rubble or something, or behind another tank, or not angled off, or I don't know, you're going to get jacked up. Uh, I turn it up against people a lot more because of that stupid, you know, front door that says, hey, kick me in right here. Everybody shoots it. It's super huge. Um, so that's the biggest weak point in this tank. Uh, the other weak point, you can there's a couple viewports right here, the driver viewports right here, if you can hit those. Uh, these are also viewports. They're kind of like ears. You can hit those. Um, the armor is really weak there. The cupola right here is easy to hit, and it's pretty big, so it should be easy to hit, unlike the IS-4s, which is really tiny. Um, so uh, the weak, the, the uh, 160s on the side here, or 120 hull armor, that's that's pretty easy to penetrate. Uh, in the back, 120, again, pretty easy to penetrate. The ammo rack's in the back of this turret, so that's a great spot to shoot if you can catch it on the side there. Uh, just blow that, blow that thing right through there. Uh, this back hatch is also a good weak spot. Um, probably kill the loader, I think, if you hit them right there. Um, so the one of the biggest things I don't like about this tank is how big it is. Uh, it, it's just a huge barn. It's it's like the M6. You know, it's hard to hide the M6 or the T1. It's hard to hide this tank, and you gotta hide it a lot. So while you need to be aggressive, you need to always be looking for cover and figure out a way that you can be behind cover and pot and do what you want to do with this tank is peekaboo. You want to peekaboo out, blow somebody away, and peekaboo back. 
um, when you kill that guy or find an opportunity to flank him, flank him, kill him, and move up to the next house or, or next piece of cover. Always be looking at where's my next piece of cover for this tank because you will get juiced. Um, also, like I was saying, if you need to, if someone you're going head on with somebody, turn it up against them and try to get this part of the mantlet to be against their gun, not front right into your gun like this because they can still hit your gun. But kind of, so like say he's right in front of you, kind of off to the side a little bit so he has to hit your mantlet right there. Uh, that thing is almost impossible to penetrate. This armor is still good, so even if you get this part of your turret against him, um, he'll have a hard time hitting you. Um, so that's the general attributes and weak points of this tank and how to drive this tank uh, in, in a general sense anyway. Let's look at the modules now. I do have the upgraded radio. Um, I think I got this for the Tiger too, mainly because as, as a tier 9 like this, especially if you're one of the top tiers, you should be alive till the, almost to the very end of the match which means you're going to have guys probably spread all over the map, and you won't be able to communicate if you have this 470-meter radio. You do you could kind of need the bigger one if you're the, one of the last guys. So I definitely get it, especially with this big old tank. So much money. Invest in the, in the best gear. Um, the turret upgrade, or the tracks upgrade, you do get a 3-degree traverse. It does help a lot. This thing is a slug when it's stock. It barely moves at all. The first, uh, let's just go on the engine. The first engine is almost half of the fully upgraded engine. And with these crappy tracks, you basically do not move at all. Um, so you're going to be hanging out at base a lot more or taking forever to get to the, to get up to the enemy. Another thing you need to watch out for when you're stock is you're an arty magnet. That's the first thing I noticed. The first three games I played in this thing, I died to arty. I didn't even shoot anybody. And that's because it takes so long to lumber along in between cover. And you're huge. When they're looking at you from above, this is gigantic, a gigantic target. Um... Well, that's about the same size, but you're moving around a little faster as the IS-4. And this thing is just, a, it's huge. So make sure when you're stock that you're even more thinking about cover and maybe even maybe hanging back a tiny bit. Uh, but anyway, you get these engine upgrades. These are good. This is more playable. It still feels sluggish. That is a 50% increase, and then this, this tank is a lot more fun. Um... It actually moves around pretty good. It's, again, not an IS-4, but it still moves around pretty good. Uh, so that, and we'll go over this a little bit, but that's kind of why I got this ball liner, because it was such an arty magnet, because this tank is so big, and doesn't move very well at all. Um, guns, you start out with this long, the long 88. Uh, you should have the um, 10.5 unlocked. The long 10.5, so you really should have that. There should be no excuses not to have this long 10.5 when you first start out. Um, you should be able to mount it right away, uh, and when we do the research tree, I'll check to make sure that you can mount this thing right away. I'm pretty sure I did, uh, and you need this 225 pen and 320 damage. You cannot be a tier 9 uh, starting out with this really crappy long 88 gun for a tier 9. You don't This tank already is hard enough stock. Don't shoot yourself in the foot and not unlock the long, the long tier 10.5 when you're on the Tiger 2. Uh, it's just not a good idea. Um, it's just going to make it that much harder to play this tank. So, All right, so now that we've talked about the modules and the, and the stats and the weak points and all that, we're going to talk about the research tree. So here we are on Andrew Funk's account uh, with the tech tree open here. And I did check the weight limit here, and you can you can put on the long 10.5 uh, right when you get this tank. It's an extra 1.1 tons, so or 1.1 thousand pounds. So there's no excuse for not having that long 10 on it right when you get this tank. Now, talk, uh, saying that... Since it does move so slow, I go right for the tracks in the first engine when I uh, got this tank. A lot of times on the heavies, I'll get tracks and then go straight for the turret and the gun. But I was getting already so bad in this thing and just basically not being able to hurt anybody, which made our team lose a lot. Uh, I just went for the tracks then the engine. I had to get some ability to get behind some cover. Uh, so once you do that, then I would go for this turret. Now, I didn't talk about the differences between these two turrets, but it's they're very, very large. The stock turret has 185 front armor, which is horrible. Any any 200-pen uh, gun is going to be able to shoot you through the front of the turret. But also look at the side armor on that thing. That's a PZ-4's front armor right there, 80. So eight, you're going to get ammo racked a lot because that's the side armor where your ammo rack is in the back. So you need to get this turret. Now, if you don't mind skipping the engine, I, I, mean, I don't know how you could do that without any, getting your art, you know, face artied off all the time, but you could go for this upgraded turret almost right away. Look at that. 252 armor, you're pretty good in the front, and you know, 160 is not too bad on the sides and the back. Uh, the traverse goes down by 8, so the turret becomes really hard to turn, but 
you need this armor on your turret, especially if you're trying to hide your hull and you're, you're getting your turret out there a lot more. People are going to try to shoot you in the turret. They're not going for the front, front glasses, so um, you do definitely need that turret upgrade very quickly. Uh, it's kind of the same thing as the IS-4, but it, more so in the E-75, I think, because it does it's such a slow-moving tank that when you get out there, you're going to get shot at. Uh, after that, you're going to go for this 12.8. Uh, it's an amazing gun with almost 250 pen here and 500 damage, pretty much just like the IS-4's gun. Uh, the accuracy is better than the IS-4. It's a very accurate gun. This thing's amazing. This is an amazing gun. Um, the tank it's sitting on is not as easy to play and gets hurt a lot, but this gun is amazing. Uh, so after you get that... Um, I would probably go after these two set, the, the uh, two engines here, get all the way up to this tier 10 engine, unlock everything else, and then start working on this E100. Really, this is your what you're working toward, because this is, right now, the best tier 10 heavy in the game. It wrecks people. Um, the sides are kind of weak, but it, up front, it's great, and it's got a huge gun, like a 700 damage gun or something like that. So anyway, that's how you do this tech tree, and you'll see the uh, the uh, order over here. And let's get back to my account. So we're back on my account, and there's one thing I wanted to show you. Um, the, the differences between the upgraded turret and the regular turret, because a lot of times it's nice to know that. I know with the Tiger II, it's pretty easy to spot, because the turret looks a lot different. Same thing for the IS-4. Uh, if it does not have that um, kind of sheet on the back, then that means it's the stock turret. Uh, but this one is one of the hardest tanks I've... I've I've had a really hard time spotting what's the upgraded turret and what isn't. This is the upgraded turret. The two spots you'll see is the track placement changes here and the tracks in the back on this side. So let's show you this side first. This is the upgraded turret. Oh, sorry, this is the stock turret. So it's in the front. Two two tracks on this side on, on the stock turret. Only one on the upgraded turret. On this side, the track is on the bottom on the upgraded turret. It's on the top on the stock turret. So those are things you really need to know uh, when you're going up, against, going up against this tank. Because you, when knowing that, you can know you can tell your teammates where to shoot this tank, and that's a big deal. Uh, I do that a lot when I when I notice the differences for tanks like that. So two tracks on this side, and if you ever see two tracks in the front, you know it's you know it's the uh, stock turret because this this uh, tank usually only has one. If you're looking at this side, it's on the bottom. So I'm sorry, that's the. Uh, if, it, if they're both on the bottom, it's the upgraded turret. If they're on the top, it's the, uh, if you see any tracks on the top, it's the stock turret. That's an easier way to see it, to look at it. So anyway, that's a, that's how you spot the different turrets. So for equipment, um, I went vent rammer. That's pretty easy. Now, there's the vertical stab is available for this thing. It does have a very accurate gun, and I'm not moving around a lot in this tank because... It, it does just not a flanking tank, and it's got a lot more weaknesses. It's harder to hide the weaknesses when you're driving around, so I went with the um, spa liner because the thing that's killing me the most in this tank is Artie. And again, really want to get this equipment for the final tank you're going to put it on, and the E100 is going to get Artie almost more than any tank in the game because other tanks have a hard time taking it out, so they're going to say, hey, Artie, pound this E100 because we're having a hard time with it. So I went with the spa liner on this, which uh, reduces the Artie damage. So that's the equipment. Standard set of consumables here. Tracks in the middle for 5.5 to portray your tracks. Uh, let's see what kind of rounds I got on this thing. Uh, oh, I don't have this. Here we go. Put the gun on there. Uh, I went with almost no heat rounds. You're almost never going to fire it. 30 rounds, I never run out, so this is a good amount. If you find yourself running out, running out, don't worry about taking some of these heat rounds and putting it into AP. There's almost nowhere this tank can't hit. No tank... Uh, the only thing you're not going to be able to penetrate maybe is the E100 in the front or something like that, so just get it on the side or something. Uh, the crew, your crew should be approaching 100% on their secondary by the time you uh, fully upgrade this whole tank and working toward the E100. You might even be able to get the, the second 100% uh, on your secondary right here on your crew, but maybe not by the time you need the E100. I still need like 170,000, so that's a good amount, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 100 on, on two of them like that, so we'll see. Um, and that's really it. Let's get this tank into a, a couple games and show you what I'm talking about. So I wanted to show you real quick, this is a great opportunity to see these two tanks side by side. If you look at the eye, this is the reason why I kind of don't like this tank that much. Look at my tank and look at how much of my lower plate is showing. Look at the IS-4 in comparison. That's why this tank is not as good and gets killed all the time. That front glassiest is, glassiest is great, but that lower plate is sticking out so huge that it's just not you're just gonna get popped. That's why I get killed so much in this tank. 
Well, plus I just have bad luck in it for some reason. I always get... Just my teams crumble for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. So, on the Fisherman's... I don't know. This is... What is this map? Lakeville. I almost always go city on this map. You only need a couple guys to go valley. Not this many guys. That's in ne never, never in, in IS-4. IS-4 should never go valley. They're pointless. They're just going to get artied. Can't move. You aren't even shooting anybody. The point of the valley should be to, de to defend. It should not be to attack. It's too slow. In fact, I've seen where uh, we took we took the valley. Killed everybody. Everybody's dead. And they just sent one guy through here. We couldn't even get past, back fast enough before he capped. Because it's all swamp in there. So, not a great place to uh, go. You know, and so... I like the Tiger II better than this tank. Because it's smaller. It's more compact. It's easier to hide your lower plate. Uh, it doesn't hit as hard, but... It doesn't die. It's, it seems like it's harder to kill. Than this tank. Which is weird. Again, it could be my bad... Kind of having bad luck, but... But with all my other high tier tanks, I have a positive win ratio. And... A good kill to, kill to death ratio. Everything's good on my higher tier tanks, except for this tank. This is my fourth game in it today without winning. Well, this is... I've had three previous games to this without winning. Two of them were like 200 X EXP matches. I barely even got a couple hits on, on two guys or something. So here's the T-54. And I is okay. See, that should be the weakness. I just shot right into that uh, driver hatch. he's going to do here. Let's shoot him to the thing here. This is a great place to shoot through. Here we go. What? See that bad, bad luck right there. Now he's going to be able to hit me in that lower plate. It's easy to hit in that lower... Oh, wow. Not very smart. Always go for the biggest tanks. There we go. Tracked him in and nailed him. This guy's maybe just not very smart driver. Plus, we got tons of guys up here. So, I've got him scared a little bit for some reason. He got me, but I got him too. So, here's the pop out game I was talking about. This is why it doesn't matter how fast your gun reloads, except if you can pop him and get, and get back before he can shoot at you. And shooting between the columns like this, you can sometimes. See, like that, and straighten it out. Bam! Now he's got nothing to shoot at. So I'm just gonna come out and pop him now. All right? Um. Right. Crap. There. Nope. Didn't have any good shots. Now I'm just going to roll out and punch him because I think I got this guy. So I'm reloading, I'm reloading. Make a move. Time to make a move. I'm going to get hit probably. Oh, he's dead. Okay, well, let's just surround these fools then. Time to make a move. There we go. TOG, the, the older gamers. Pretty cool. You're probably going to die though, bro. Sorry. Yep, okay, he's gone. Oh, they're capping us. RTB. Got a RTB or we'll lose this match. Um, we just have to take out their couple of tanks that are down there. If that's the low, which... Or the Tiger too. Well, actually, they're all heavies. But that guy could take everybody out if he's big enough. Oh, I think he just died. So we'll have this, though. Even if both those guys are here. Yeah, okay. So let's take this guy out. Let's get this guy. Tiger 2. Nice. Hopefully they don't see me. <laughs> that GW Tiger could roast me. Alright, he's dead. Now there's just a Tiger coming in on our base right over there. 
And I might as well just sit here. I should be able to spot him from here, I think. How far is that? Maybe not. Maybe not. Guess I can't. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. That's GG. So, that's kind of how it's done. Finally, I had a great game on. This is a really good team. Um, and they... Well, the IS-4 they had was not very experienced. He should have killed me, probably. I shot at him. I bounced. He should have hit me, and then he'd be up on me. And his IS-3 should have came... Well, we had a lot of heat on him, so that's probably why they were kind of pinned down. I think our guys came out of the valley, though. That's probably a good idea. Or they got killed. Yeah, they actually, they got killed. That IS-4 got killed. He probably got artied. So, there's not much else to show. I'm going to skip to the base capture piece. Yep, just as I thought. Uh, we just had to kill those already and we were done. So that's a good game. 1100 point game, approximately. Um, obviously I didn't get any medals or anything. Damage three guys, kill the T-54. Good game. Alright, let's get another one. Or this guy. <laughs> Whatever. I'll so see. here I am on Ants this time, and uh, this is one of my favorite maps. Um, the only problem we're going to have is we have a T-34, which is probably the worst tier 9 in the damn game right now. Uh, against two IS-4s. Luckily, Type 59s are up there too, and we've got an IS-3 going with us, and, and probably that T-28 is going to head to City. So we should be able to take City. Those Type 59s are kind of wild cards, because like I've said in previous videos, they're either driven by really good guys who know how to drive them, or they just die really fast because they are they drive like maniacs because they don't know what they're doing. Because they drive like they're low tier. Low tier guys drive like maniacs. I mean, that's kind of how you drive them. So here we go, favorite spot. Oh. Let's let the TD get in there. Oop, oh, 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 it's not a TD. I thought that was that T28. So, again, it's really hard to hide that lower... Look at that. Lower plate's almost fully exposed, exposed there. Exploded. And it's really hard to hide it. There we go. There we go. I'm up on that guy now. So, see, I can pull back and hide that lower plate. Makes this tank um, pretty good. But... The problem is that lower plate. If you see an A75, just hit it there. You'll, you'll do great. Um, hmm. What the hell is this guy doing? Bounced right off his driver plate, huh? Let's go head to head, I guess. Now I'll pull back and shoot him in that driver plate. See, just like that. That's how you'd uh, kill an IS-4. Oh, you're gonna tur give your turret to me, huh? He's gonna die. There we go. Now he's gonna shoot me in the lower plate. Don't do it, don't do it, bro. <laughs> That's okay. He's kind of dumb. And uh, that's how you die, I guess. Don't do that at home, kids. It's really not very smart. Alright, let's get this guy out. I feel pretty good about this game. Took out one of their biggest guys. Let's do some wall humping. Can't see him. He's waiting. Oh, oh, oh! Lower plate's out there. Oh, there he goes. He just shot. Oh! That was my chance. Now I'm hiding my old tank, see that? I think he just shot, I'm not sure. Wow. Really? All right, he's running scared now. We got him on the run, we're doing pinch removes on him now. Ooh, this is not good though. What do we got here? Ooh, that's a juicy target. Gotta kill this guy, he could hurt me bad. There we go. 
Their IS-4 really should come out here and play. Here he comes. Because... Here he comes. No, you don't want to drive sideways like that. Because you're gonna get killed. Like that. This guy, he's gonna hide, I'm sure. Alright, so we got this pretty much wrapped up. All their, their high tier tanks are dead. Ooh. He's... That's a good, uh... Their uh, good TDs are dead. Still got one Type 59. He's on that side of the map. Like I figured he would be. I'm gonna cap this. I feel good about capping this. Um, we'll just get in their cap. Those guys aren't close enough. But it's quite a distance still to the cap. Man, my frames are getting really bad. I'm playing too much video games today. <laughs> oh man. So this is another good game. Um, again, those IS-4 drivers were just not very experienced. Um, it was a little too easy to kill them. It, those IS-4s are super hardy. And if I had to bet on two guys with the same skill and an IS-4, one's an IS-4, one's an E-75, I'd pick the IS-4 every time. They're harder to hit. Um, and the guns are very, pretty much the exact same, so... If I had, de you know, they're just, it's just easier to kill an E-75, no doubt about it. Um, but, that, so that's why, I, that's really why I turned it up against that IS-4, because I wanted to keep his gun away from my lower plate. If he was smart, he would have kept backing up like I did to hit him in the soft spot. Um, you know, but he didn't, and that's the kind of stuff you have to learn when you drive your tank. You have to know, uh, I mean, he did get a shot on me in my turret, but it was much more likely that he's going to definitely hit me, you know, he's going to probably definitely hit me in that lower plate. So, I turned it up against him so that that could, wouldn't happen. Um, there would be a lot less chance for him to hit me. And that's what you have to know about your tank is when to turn it up, when to try to flank, know the strengths of your tank and use, and then know the weaknesses of the enemy tank and use that against them. Uh, that should be pretty much how you win every time, no matter what tank you're in. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time.